name is Christopher Anderson, running for City Council, District 7, Baltimore, Maryland. The city is in great turmoil right now. I'm out here in the community trying to make it better. I'm a veteran, father, chaplain, minister, and just a, just a citizen that's concerned. I want to be your next representative. You need change, and I am. So Chris Anderson, what brings you to Baltimore City? I'm running for City Council, District 7. I want to make change to Baltimore. I want to put the resources that are coming into the district, that's going out of the district, I want to put it back into the community's hand. I want the people in the district to have it, and I want the people that's in the district that knows better for what they want to do for their community. What is it that you can bring change to Baltimore, Maryland? I can bring change as far as education. I can bring change as far as infrastructure. I can bring change as far as crime. One district, one vote. What is the one thing you could install to possibly stop the crime rate from going up and continue to go down? Well, first of all, it goes up and goes down. I'm glad you asked that question. It goes up and goes down because we had one party rule for 70 years. I bring a different party, different party lines in. First of all, we can champion our Second Amendment rights. It's like Texas, we can have people that have their weapons in their homes. It takes 16 minutes for the police to get to your house. That gap's even wider with people of color. If we can protect and police our own community, that will drive crime in Baltimore City. We got change. I am change. One vote, one district, one change. Let's change coming to Baltimore. Well, new tonight, a group of Republican City Council candidates are rallying around a Democrat's crime plan. In the 7th City Council District of Baltimore City, Republican Chris Anderson is trying to defy the odds. What you're talking about is get the people to understand why they need to vote uh, for a Republican. Anderson is fighting with Democrat James Torrance to join Baltimore City Council, where no Republican has held office in nearly 80 years. Uh, not a Democratic stronghold, but a Democratic chokehold. And to prove his commitment to voters, Anderson is putting his own wallet on the line. I, I want to give 25% of my salary to people in the district that have been doing the work. I'm a community activist, and I know several other community activists that have been doing the work in District 7. This comes as city residents demand change. An Act Now Baltimore survey shows 61% of voters want to replace Baltimore's political class. Anderson believes he fits that job description. Well, Mr. Torrance, uh, my opponent, is a, to me, a, a career politician. Um, he has all the earmarks, for the, all the earmarks of a career politician. And we don't need somebody just go in there and represent themselves when they get into the district. We need somebody that the people. It's a really good gesture by any candidate to be able to say, look, I'm going to invest part of my salary back in the community. And with November's general election around the corner, Baltimore is about to find out if money truly talks. A lot of people may look and say, OK, this isn't someone running for the next line on the resume. This is someone who's running that actually wants to get something done. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Fox 45 did reach out to Anderson's Democratic opponent, James Torrance, to see if he's also planning to give back part of his salary to the 7th District. He did not respond to our request for comment. I wanted to tell you about the Coast Guard veteran that we just endorsed. His name is Christopher Anderson, and he's running for the District 7 City Council seat in Baltimore. He's pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, and he's actually a walk away from the Democratic Party. Christopher Anderson, he's our guy. Vote for him November 3rd. Thank you.